bringing something to for people to enjoy like that's like my my main goal is creating an experience for the listener you know what are they going to say when they leave this room one thing i'm trying to think a lot about is contextualization with drums how can you give the music more context <laughs> it was just like he's not gonna be eternal. Yeah. Like Vinny and Dennis, I feel like there's so many things we like. Are you sorry? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna pee. I'm laughing. But they're saying that that was also part of this. Uh, yeah, Remember that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. You had a superstar, a '70s superstar, this whole time. Be one with nature and life, meaning if you're walking, think about a metronome. Try to walk to a certain BPM. Like, always be one in tune with music and with rhythm. Uh, if you hear the leaves brushing back and forth, sometimes there's a, there's a tempo to it. There's like a swing to it. You know, try to come up with a melody or, or a, a rhythm with it. Uh, so, long, what I'm trying to say is, Always be connected, always be in tune. When it comes to like writing a part or music, I want to just try a bunch of different things to help give it context. Like a ride pattern is going to make it feel one way, a bell pattern is another, a hi hat, open hi hat, like. I'll, I'll play the same beat through all these things and see which one fits the most or maybe one is my starter and then I know I still have like other variations or other, other ways to play it. Um, I'm always trying to find new ways to play the same thing, whether it be on a different surface or in a different orchestration or in a different style of music. <laughs> Musical phrasing, I understand. <laughs> and that's a very radical picture of you. You look, uh, you know, what it's are like you? His like, brain is very is that like a hurricane on your face? What is that? I think his it, brain is warm. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> what is that, a stage four hurricane on your brain, bro? <laughs> on your temple. <laughs> Looking very <laughs> studious. Love you, man. I'm going to check this out. I need to get this, Dave. I love you. You know, you're one of my heroes, man. Hopefully I get to hug you again soon. I haven't seen you since 2019. Uh, the weather is probably about 87 degrees. And uh, we just finished eating uh, some well-deserved food for being stuck in the freeway for three hours. So, um, you know, I wanted to speak about uh, drums and life and music and how it relates to everyday living. First things first, you do this and then you hit your palms with your fingers like that. Very legit. I do it all the time. Um, Jojo Mayer likes to do this. That's dope. Uh, but I feel like I'm too much of a, a seal if I do that, you know? So I'd rather do this. Uh, which is the same thing, warms up your forearms. I feel like if you do it every every 20 minutes, uh, it keeps your your muscles always on cue. Like if you if someone randomly hits you to do it, uh, a show or something or a gig, like you're prepared because your muscles are, you know, they're warmed up, they're stretched. You know, so I also stretch a lot. There's some people that say stretching's bad, but you'll thank me when you get to my age.
device in your hand yeah. to make it snap. Right. Otherwise, you're using an arm or something, and it loses power. You know what I mean? Like because the power comes from here. Yeah, it comes from that snap. Yeah, this smaller right yeah, here. Yeah, that. Like, like I was telling, like at the clinic, I was Getting telling you that good, like, is somehow easier because I was bad. That I don't know. That's I think the better you are, the harder it is to get better and to maintain. Because half of what you do is maintaining where the fuck you are. Because you have so many things you got to do. Because if you use all arm, eh, it sounds like shit. Yeah, that's true. And you're gonna hurt yourself too. Yeah. right now has really inspired me to continue pursuing complete musical freedom and that to me that just means to be able to live in the moment whether it be on the drums or with my family or just practicing in my room by myself one thing I always think about is uh, polarity, meaning loud and soft and fast and slow, I'm trying to work all my ideas within polarity, play all the things I know fast, slow, play all the, try to play all the slow things fast, you know, so trying to just think about what's the opposite yeah, of what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I, I try to do just this one first. Fingers like that. Yeah. And now I can make it, you know? Yeah. And then you can focus just on mm. doing it at that speed, it's still hard. I mean at that uh, uh volume. Yeah. That's really hard. You're approaching almost like an athlete. Like an athlete. It is. Yeah, this it is. is such yeah. So it's like would you do you think about it like that, like a sport? Uh only shutting. Um yeah. Oh. And in practice, I do think about it as a sport, you know, like yeah. for a minute or like an hour, take a break, Training you know, the next mm -hmm. stretch. But I do, especially like, especially at the rate and velocity that I play and with the intents, I have to do this. Yeah. I mean, I, it's like the, the maintenance. Yeah, exactly. Day, yeah. If I don't, you know, uh, I'm, I'm like very stiff and then my, you know, my body starts to hurt and I just can't really express myself. How I usually do if I'm warmed up and I do this every day, you know. Increase by ten. That's insane. Another ten. Try up. I try to go up to two sixty or two seventy. thing about music is that it it, it transport transports me to like another world where like like our surrounding right now it's it's so beautiful and so gorgeous and 
when I'm in a live musical situation, especially if we're improvising with other musicians, like I feel like I travel to another dimension where <clears throat> it feels like I'm in an open field like this, or maybe space, or maybe like in an, on another planet or some beautiful star. And you're hearing all these frequencies, right? From a sax player, a piano player, a guitar player, uh, a trumpet player, a bass player. And then all these things combine when they, when they form unity, it, it creates um, an experience for the listener. And even though we're playing live, right? And there's no redos, I feel like we're part of that, we are part of that experience. And we are creating on the spot for someone to enjoy music. studio and everyone here for for making this happen it's it's uh it's a privilege definitely to you know come from another state and come do this and play drums and have a good time and talk and eat and talk about food and everything we've been talking about today it's definitely it's always i don't take it for granted you know uh to be able to not only like be with like one of my best friend drummer influences and with simon and having a good time and, but also to like you know share camaraderie with uh with you guys you know um, truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So, I hope you guys enjoy the, what I'm about to play and what we're gonna uh, digress into. So, have your questions ready. situations in context where my drumming helps create an event or what is a musical event that I can accentuate or embellish you know like maybe trying to grab stuff that normally doesn't fit within a genre or a convention and trying it somewhere else something to for people to enjoy like that's like my, my main goal is creating an experience for the listener you know what are they gonna say when they leave this room 
you know? Are they gonna say, I had an amazing time at Andy Prado's show? Or are they gonna say, man, that was, that was terrible, I didn't have a good time, it was too loud, or it was... No, like, the only way I could provide that is being in tune, not only with myself, but with my surroundings. And that's kind of where my mind is at now, man. Like, I don't really think um, too drummy anymore, you know? Like, I used to, when you're, like, coming up, like, my mind now is just, just into the experience, you know? Like, being here right now is, is giving me an experience to take back home and, and just see what I can create off of it, yeah? It's beautiful out here. It's insane. Yeah, man. It's crazy.